spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners class 13 we'll learn 24 consonant sounds it's a bit review program and consonant sound exercise speaking test and debate contest so we'll be debating so let's get started pa 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 ba 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 ta 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 da 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 ka 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 ga 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 fa 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 va 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 sa 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 za 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 sha 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 ja 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 okay eta tin bit tin bit amra porchi right cha 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 ja 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 fa 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 ta 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 da 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 ya 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 wa 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 ma 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 na 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 in 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 la 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 ra 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 ha 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 so we are done right yeah okay now tumake ekhane exercise answer kore dekhate hobe ami bolbo je ekta word ami bolbo tumake bolte hobe first sound last sound konti er bolte hobe right okay so let's start with the word computer what is the first sound ka ka ka, ka. ka. You'll tell three times, right? Okay. What is the first sound of the word bad? Ba ba ba. Okay. What is the first sound of the word genre? Je je je. Uh huh. What is the first sound of the word mouse? Ma ma ma. Excellent. What is the first sound of the word poor? Pa pa pa. What is the first sound of the word sins? S s s. What is the first sound of the word guest? Ga ga ga. What is the first sound of the word so? Sa sa sa. What is the first sound of the word chance? Cha cha cha. What is the first sound of the word value? Va va va. What is the first sound of the word hiking? Ha ha ha. How about kindergarten? Ka ka ka. Drew? Da da da. Kangaroo? Ka ka ka. Tennis? Ta ta ta. The first sound of month, oh, sorry month. Ma 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 is the month actually, right? What is the first sound of the word time? Da da da. And light? La la la. Zinc? Z z z. Kick? K k k. Uh, Zulu? Z z z. Uh huh huh. Okay, and then jam? J j j. Tone? T t t. The first sound of the word hatch? Ha ha ha. Cute? K k k. Grew? G g g. I can say Bangladesh is called Grew. It's not Grew actually, it's Grew. Okay. Now, you can say the last sound key. Okay. Okay. What is the last sound of the word bag? Is g g g. With the last sound of inch. Ch ch ch. How about glass? S s s. Chime. Ma ma ma. Exactly. I can say that E is silent. It is called chime, na. So chime. Ma ma. Exactly. Chime. Catch. Ch ch ch. Sons. S s s. No. S s s. No. Can I? The question. Sons. Z z z. Z. Yes. Sons. Okay. Sorry. Mistake. And then backs. S s s. How about logs? Z z z. Buzz. Z z z. Token. N n n. Loathsome. M m m. Carnival. L l l. Seas. Z z z. Tough. Tough. Uh-huh. Fa fa fa. Pack. K k k. Pink. K k k. Cone. Na na na. Log. G g g. Imp. Pa pa pa. Bags. Z z z. Houses. Z z z. Bus. Z z z z. Is z z z. Yeah. Omen. Na na na. Jubilant. T t t. Glasses. Z z z. Keys. Z z z. Sound. D d d. Loan. Na na na. Ring. In in in. Lock. K k k. Hype. P p p. Locations. 
z z z locks s s s wanted t t t no wanted, wanted. d d d locks locks mm -hmm. oh you said it no i didn't yeah you said it there's no after the lo uh, wanted is after locks yeah but where is locks this one is locks yeah you told me okay tell it again locks mm -hmm. s s s wanted d d d badge j j j blissful l l l zestful l l l butts s s s sees z z z very perfect okay so now even i'm ra kichu ta debating korbo tumi amake ekta ekta jiggesh korbo ami ekta uttor debo tumi ekta uttor debo are you ready okay number 1 50 debate topic for us okay আমরা খুব এক লাইনে উত্তর দেবো বাট এটা নিয়ে এক একজনের দুই মিনিট করে কথা বলা উচিত সো আচ্ছা তুমি আমাকে প্রথমটা জিজ্ঞেস করো শেড স্কুল স্টুডেন্টস ফেজ এ ম্যান্ডেটারি ড্রাগ টেস্ট অফকোর্স দে শুড বিকজ ও ইউ ডু নট নো হুইচ ফ্যামিলি দে আর ফ্রম এন্ড দ্য পিপল দে আর মিক্সিং উইথ সো ফর দ্য বেটারমেন্ট অফ আদার কিডস ইন এ গ্রেটার স্কুল কিডস শুড হ্যাভ ম্যান্ডেটারি ড্রাগ টেস্ট দ্যাটস এ বিট আ ক্রেজি আইডিয়া People say, what the heck you are doing? But for the safety, we can do it. Okay, now you ask the second question to me. Should students be required to wear a school uniform? Well, uh, Rithika, do you know what is the meaning of uniform? What is the meaning of uniform? It's a school dress. No, but what is the meaning of uniform? Can you tell me? Uniform? It comes from the word uniqueness. I mean, uh, or, or the similarity actually. similarity okay and unique form uniform meaning similar uh everything equal so when all kids wear uniform i mean wear uniform they look alike somebody may be from a poor family somebody may be from a rich family but when they use uniform and they look alike then you do not feel ego or if you don't you wear uniform then you will wear a rich dress and you'll be ego egotistic a bit and poor students they'll feel uh actually low right yeah so that's why i think school uniforms uh yeah they should be mandatory Requires. for their students yeah their students should wear a school uniform what do you think yeah i think the same too okay are the olympic games a waste of money well the answer is yes and no why uh yes because uh well millions of dollars are being wasted here and millions of people are dying because they do not have food okay and no um, in in a sense you need recreation you need entertainment you need sort of connection as well So Olympic games give gives you actually a uh, network you you get acquainted with other countries the people the culture you visit many places so uh, in this sense uh, Olympic Olympic games uh, actually they're not the wastes of money but it's it's not that important too i mean you can save that money but you will not save that money you will uh, spend otherwise so uh, let it be like that way okay the next one is our nation still unprepared for disaster mm -hmm. fully unprepared for example in dhaka city if earthquake happens the the passage the roads uh, they'll be blocked and people will die so we are fully unprepared we are not fully prepared Even we are not partially prepared. That's a very sad news for Bangladesh. The next one, should school prayer be encouraged? Of course, school prayers should be encouraged. You know why? Because if you pray, at least you become mentally okay. You get connected to the God and at least you do not lie. You you help people, you become mentally soothing i mean you become tranquil you become happy so school prayers should be in, uh, encouraged actually 
the next one should minorities be treated differently of course they should not be because uh, for example if we, th- if we think about uh, the chakma people or uh, there are so many uh, uh, ethnic groups. yeah ethnic uh, people here and groups in our country this is their country too so uh, definitely in any way we should not treat them differently this is inhuman this is um, this is actually against the patriotic feeling and uh, this is not at all good in humanitarian ground it's also not okay so they should not be treated differently the next one should the age to vote be reduced to 16 that should be because these young people have their say okay 18 if 18 is okay then 16 also can be okay okay the next one should the prime minister serve for more than two terms in bangladesh they can uh why because if you don't have a have a greater leaders i mean the the best leaders then the experienced leaders should lead but if you see uh, any uh, any leader is doing crimes or they abuse powers that is a different case but we can definitely allow uh, prime ministers or presidents to run more than two terms should the use of animals in sports and entertainment be banned uh well this is a, a bit difficult question to answer if the animals are hurt and they get uh, actually uh, they 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 face dangers or if uh, the the sports are life threatening to the animals then i i'll not support this but if it is okay i mean there is no danger there is no life threat to the animals we can use them but you have to think about the animals rights uh, so you have to consider many things and then you can answer to this question okay next one do hollywood movies have bad influence on the world of course they have How? and 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 they have got good influences as well hmm. uh, bad influences i mean <laughs> they promote uh, trafficking they promote terrorism they promote killing okay uh, they make young minds crazier and uh, uh, the, the 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 kids they like to copy those kind of characters uh, and they believe some unrealistic things okay and that's why yeah uh, they have got bad influences but on the other hand uh, the movies also have good influence on on the young learners on the young people okay uh, of the world why because uh, the movies uh, tell you how a future world can be uh, how sci-fi or science fiction type ideas are there right how you can uh, live in mars right how you can make robots will should which will do everything for you right yeah how you can even think you can marry a machine so this kind of peculiar ideas they give and creativity is increased so mixed feelings i have got about the hollywood movies okay should homework assignments be limited to a maximum of 3 nights a week uh well it's also a very tough question some people say okay there'll be no homework uh but at least there'll be work forget about the hell homework or anything else the kids will be addicted to pubg or any other comedy games social media like instagram tiktok if they can do this kind of bad things why not learning but students should be encouraged they should be motivated so that they themselves can study they can uh, use different things they can learn from different sources so if students love to learn then homework is okay everyday homework is okay but 24 7 you will study that's not also good you need uh, relaxation okay the next one 
do school authorities have the right to search students' lockers? Of course, of course they have the right to search students' lockers. You may say that privacy concern is there. Yeah. But we need to check that because the young students, they can make mistakes. Even they can carry guns. Yeah. They can carry uh, uh, addictive things like, uh, well, we call it yaba or any pills or cocaine or what sort of addiction type things. So if the students are honest, what is the harm, I mean harm or what is the problem in searching the lockers? Just like parents, they can be searched. I don't find any problem in that. The next one, should schools stop Muslim girls from wearing hijab? Well, this is really a psychotic idea. Some schools ban uh, hijab for Muslim girls. I'll not talk about Muslim girls only. Everybody has the right to wear whatever they want to. Uh, the Hindu girls, the Sikh people, uh, the Christian people, uh, they, let them wear the dresses in their rights. Okay, this is human right. But in terms of a school uniform, for uniformity purpose, you need to wear it uniform first. And then you can cover everything if religious uh, things are there. So we can allow side by side school uniform, there should be blended hijab and that should be allowed. Okay, does God punish sinners for eternity? Well, what you believe, uh, it, it depends on that. The Muslims, they believe, uh, even the Christians, they also believe this, that God punishes the sinners for eternity. But during the lifetime in this world, if the sinners uh, can ask forgiveness to the God, God forgives them, then there will be no sin. It depends if you ask for forgiveness and if you're, if you're forgiven, uh, there is no point of uh, punishing eternity by God. So, uh, if any unlucky person uh, cannot ask for forgiveness to Allah or to the God, to the Creator, in that case, they are punished for eternity. But it is believed differently in different religions. Uh, I really don't mind uh, the believers can believe in their way. But we Muslim believe as our Prophet said or as our Quran instructed. Okay, the next one. Should certain books be banned from libraries? Mm, yeah, uh, because there are some misleading books. which are proven misleading books. They should be banned from libraries. Like, there can be books uh, how to how to uh, terrorize people, how to kill people. There are some, uh, some romantic books which can lead young people uh, to bad feelings. So uh, the books which will mislead the readers, they should be banned. But if you are strongly, uh, I mean, if you are strong in terms of belief, Mm, you can read them. It depends actually. Uh, the learner's level, their age, their digestion capacity, everything you need to consider. Okay. The next one. COVID pandemic was not a curse, rather a blessing. Well, I believe so. COVID pandemic uh, came as blessing. It may sound weird, but it is so. Why? Let me explain. There are a lot of words were going on before pandemic. All the words stopped <laughs> because of fear. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so in the words, people used to die more than they did in the pandemic, COVID pandemic. And uh, there was a huge uh, environmental pollution from the industrialized countries. So ozone layer was actually uh, very thin, they became very thin. So, uh, nature got cured during this pandemic. Maybe in a certain time in the future, we could die. And this pandemic time, two, three years, healed the world and saved the lives also. 
So this is my belief. It's a scientific belief actually. I'm not emotionally telling this. Okay, next one. Should religion play a large role in modern societies? They, they should. And they did. They will. Because religions, they teach morality, good things to people, to the followers. No religion is bad. The people, they describe in a bad way or they change their religious philosophies, beliefs. But religion play a large role in the modern society. Whatever be the religion, it has got a role to play. Next one. Does intelligent design deny the existence of God? Definitely intelligent design is there. And that is God. So, how you describe it, definitely the world was designed by an intelligent being and that is God. The world didn't come into being from nothingness. You see, if you look at your body, you'll see the structure, you see the fingers, the eyes, their functions, how they actually uh, help you to lead your life, how you breathe in, breathe out, many things. So definitely intelligent design is there. And in this space, if you look at your body, you look at water, um, oxygen, different gases, uh, definitely you cannot uh, deny God. So the believers in intelligent design, if they think that, okay, somebody designed intelligent design, but there is no God, that is their, uh, I mean, description is a bit faulty, in my opinion. Next one. R religious people are better than irreligious ones. Mm, it depends. There are so many irreligious people. Uh, they're, they're, they may be good people. Okay, they don't kill people. They don't cheat. They don't. Uh, they don't. They don't hijack. And they 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 also may lead their life honestly. But there's some religious people also be the opposite. They're killers. They're abusers of religions. So, uh, it depends. It, but truly, the followers of religions cannot be bad people. So, definitely, in the end, I'll say religious people are definitely better than irreligious people as a whole. Okay, the next one. Why should we be afraid of God? Because your mind always leads you to astray. It misguides you. It derails you. So, if you believe in an unseen God who always sees you, that will protect you from some sins. And that's why we should be afraid of God, definitely, for all time. Is atheism a religion? It is also a religion. Atheism is also a sort of belief. I mean, you don't believe, that is also your belief. You don't believe in God, that is your belief right yeah so it is a religion or you can say it's a religion of the stupid people okay. because they, they need to know the detailed things of God of the creation of the world and uh, whimsically and they should believe also in science whimsically you cannot claim that uh, well uh, everything came into being uh, from nothingness and nobody designed something okay you can say nobody designed nothing but you can say nobody designed something <laughs> that that's crazy idea the next one kindergarten schools should ban junk food sales inside the campus of course they should because junk foods kill fast they're unhealthy they're they're not nutritious and they're not uh, they're not good for health so, this is the wastage of time, money, and health. I mean, the eating time also is sort of time. And they'll kill uh, deeply inside. They may create some diseases. So, uh, junk food should be banned uh, in this school campus. Indian TV channels should be banned in Bangladesh. I think so, I think so. Uh, because... You don't learn anything from Indian TV channels. Uh, they're sort of addiction. What the heck they uh, broadcast? 
orchestras also Z cinema Z Bangla maybe they are entertaining for the elderly it's not entertaining there's, there's a cultural attack do you know what TV channels the programs they broadcast they actually create market uh, for different products of a certain country so uh, Indian TV channel not only Indian TV channels uh, TV channels which are bad in I mean in terms of education or in breaking or bad uh, for a mental health yeah health. mental health also and relationship family relationship those kind of TV channels should be banned uh, in Bangladesh be it Indian or Pakistani or whatever okay teachers are low paid in Bangladesh because of their low quality the answer is yes and no some good teachers they are paid the equal amount okay as yeah. as the bad teachers are paid so that should not be there should, there should be different skills for different quality teachers if a teacher is a grade one quality he should or she should be paid paid more and if a teacher is struggling low performing teacher should be paid less but as a whole Bangladeshi teachers are not in fact quality teachers they should learn more they should be trained properly and that's it they are earning less uh, so to some extent it is true but all teachers are bad I'm not agreeing here okay the next one corporal punishment on children should be illegal mm, well it's also a debatable issue corporal punishment is physical punishment uh, to the students well, this can be even a mom can physically punish a, her child it doesn't mean that the mom doesn't love that child the teachers should have also the right to punish the children if I find a child comes with a gun oh my god and that child is arrogant this is this is what they should be actually with arrogantly happened in the USA uh, some children they brought guns and they killed other children Oh my God! So in that case, if you say okay, corporal punishment should not be there, definitely to protect other children, you should punish, punish physically, seriously, you should punish them. Okay? Uh, there are some actually uh, bullying things in the school or ragging some things mm -hmm. like that happens. So will you worship those kids or students? No. Definitely, they should be physically tortured. They should be punished harshly. Yeah. Okay, the next one are high schools should have mandatory drug testing for participating in in extracurricular ex activities. Of course, of course. We should not believe people now. Yeah. And people are not angel. So, if anyone is good, there's no harm in testing. Okay, you, you're not, you're not uh, addicted to drugs. So, where is your problem? Be tested. And you'll, you'll, your result will be negative. So no problem. It's not a matter of belief system. Rather, it's a matter of uh, saving people. Okay? So that's why drug tests should be mandatory uh, in participating in extracurricular activities. Okay. Food aid does more harm than good. Uh, well, I don't see this way. Uh, food aid programs well if they are run properly they are managed properly how come they will uh, do harm uh, but sometimes in the name of collecting fund uh, we may abuse we may misuse in that respect it's not good but the intention and the activities are really good okay cell phones should be allowed in schools I think so. Cell phones should be allowed in schools. But there will be software which will protect the children and the cell phone. Then they cannot ever use the cell phones because mobile phones can help you in learning fast anything. Okay? And if you don't allow cell phones in schools, they can actually also use cell phones at home. So you cannot actually you cannot protect the children from cell phones you need cell phones but you need to use properly rightly, 
properly correctly yeah okay bangladesh should rely on alternative energy sources instead of fossil fuels of course of course they should bangladeshi people should think about this because fossil fuels have got limitation uh, you do not have billions of billions of tons of fossil fuels you have got limited uh, amount of fossil fuels so once if you use them you are done so you need to go for alternative energy sources like energy from sun electricity from sun okay from uh, waves of the rivers and oceans okay from uh, there are so many uh, other other sources like gas okay so we should think seriously about the alternative energy sources from now okay television is a bad influence on children of course television has got bad influence on children because television most of the time uh, broadcasts bad things i mean some addictive things which are really uh, very harmful uh, for the children and uh, side by side uh, television has got some good things also on children because they can learn many things from tv the next all schools should provide students with music and art education i think so because I music agree too. yeah because uh, music gives you mental uh, i mean mental relaxation ease, relaxation and art education also you can you can you can develop your creative faculty here so all the schools should write students with music and art education but you cannot force them that you need to be a singer you have to be yeah. a singer okay you need to create love for it for these two qualities okay homework should be banned i don't think so because uh now the children they they are getting uncontrolled every day so the, for disciplinary things also you need to give homework to the children you need to learn many things life is very short so what will you do if you do not do homework if you do not do if you do not learn what will you do in your leisure time whole hours or whole day you cannot waste just by in the name of relaxation or leisure activities you can learn but uh, learning should not be only book based you can learn from different sources so you can give homework like you need to visit that place and it make a report or you need to play that a uh, game and you need to create a sort of difference in that game how how you can bring a bit difference in that game so homework can be given in different different ways so they should not be banned you need to change the way of giving homework they should not be banned bangladesh should ban the death penalty i don't think so yeah the killers they should be killed or they'll not feel how uh, the they are people not even they human. abused yeah so why do you cry for the killers they say okay they were mentally bad and that's why they should be killed because you need to set examples for other people or they will abuse this uh, i i think death penalty should be in action more than before classrooms should have closed circuit cameras and they should have i think don't know why because there are some abusers mm. and there can be uh, there can be some dangers also right yeah. even for example uh, in the classroom some students bullying are bullying other students or even the teachers they can be unprofessional like they are not serious they sleep in the classroom <laughs> <laughs> okay so in that respect cameras can be there definitely but it has got some downside as well like if if you think that you, you are observed for every second you cannot give from your heart that's a problem yeah you cannot stay freely mm, you always think oh i'm being observed right okay bangladeshi high schools should substantially expand vocational training uh they should bangladesh high school should substantially expand uh, i mean every school should initiate this because vocational trainings are very important you cannot lead your life without it you need this kind of knowledge like how to uh how to actually uh set your electric light bulb in your room 
or how to set your computers, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, any sort of vocational things, even how to use a washing machine. Uh, so this kind of training will be very helpful for every family. Mm. Beauty, how do you pageants. spell pageants? Beauty pageants do more harm than good. I really don't like this concept because you are beautiful and you are propagating that okay you see me I'm beautiful and you buy my beauty. That's the stupidity and it's a humiliation to other people. For example, if it's only the beautiful girls are smart. No, they can be dumb too. Yeah. So, like the H2O incident. Yeah, you know. <laughs> And and for the uh, for the for the males also the same thing, so uh, they do more harm than good. Uh, it should not be there. Bangladesh should expand its use of nuclear power. Uh, if you use nuclear power to produce electricity, then it's okay. But if you want to make a bomb of electric, oh my god! I mean nuclear bomb. No, it's dangerous. Nuclear power is okay, but. Nuclear power has got serious long-term bad effect on the environment. So we should be very cautious in using nuclear power. Fast food restaurants do more harm than good. Of course they do more harm. Because we are forgetting uh, to eat uh, my, our mother's uh, handmade, yeah, cook. handmade food. Or, or you are forgetting how to cook. And the fast food restaurants, they, uh, they, they cook or they prepare foods which are not healthy. They don't maintain nutritious values. So they are very harmful. Sh uh, schools should provide for single sex instruction. Well, the research says single sex schools, for example, only girls schools mm -hmm. or only boys schools, they are doing better results than the quid schools mm -hmm. all over the world because there is a sort of attraction between opposite sexes so that's why quid schools should not be encouraged more on the other hand uh, we see uh, quid schools yeah um, if you compare they're not good actually they're not good physician assisted Suicide should be legalized. It means that uh, somebody is in his deathbed okay. or he may die after six months. Mm. But he's getting serious pain. Unbelievable pain. So, physician assisted. Meaning, can you poison that, I mean, patient to die? No. So that you can, you can, you can that okay for six months he will struggle he will he will be in pain rather let's kill him by poison this is called physician assisted suicide uh, well religiously it's not allowed and hey there may be some grounds where it is it can be allowed but I don't support it let a person die naturally you don't need to kill that person in the name of saving from pain. Zeus do more harm than good. Well, the answer is yes and no. If the animals are threatened uh, or they are not kept properly, they are not fed properly, they do more harm. But there are some endangered animals. If you put them in a zoo and if you, if you keep them, uh, you can save the, these species. So in that respect, zoos are okay. And uh, yeah, I have got mixed feelings about this actually. This, uh, we cannot say uh, that they do more harm than good. Fried foods should have warning levels. Uh, fried food should have warning levels. Uh, this, this is allergic, this food for example. Okay. Oily foods? Yeah, the foods, oily foods. Oh. So there should be levels that if you eat this food, you will have coughing, you will have allergy, you will have indigestion, 
this kind of warning should be there definitely they should be there okay uh, then uh, people may um, get sick and it can be life threatening smoking in public should be banned in our country they should not be banned they must be banned yeah and must. i sometimes i think that the smokers should be killed the smoking should be banned not smoking in public now the smokers should be killed i think these are stupid people simply dull headed stupid nonsensical people they smoke they're cutting they're, they're just cutting their lives off yeah and they are harming the environment they are polluting the environment they should be punished physically they should be tortured they should be socially boycotted they should be killed they should be threatened they should be physically tortured they <laughs> okay, should be okay, hated it's enough, okay it's enough. <laughs> i don't like them okay mm, algebra should not be required for high school graduation are you crazy no 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 uh, algebra is a branch of mathematics they should mm -hmm. not be they should be in high school graduation definitely because they help you to think to rethink to challenge your brain you can learn mathematical logical relationships so in in any logic we cannot say uh, algebra should not be required exclusion of arithmetic from math curriculum was not justified in our country mm, okay arithmetic uh, was excluded okay i mean you don't need to uh, learn arithmetic but that's not good it's also a branch of mathematics you need to do arithmetic there are so many applied aspects of arithmetic learning as well so it's not good you should include arithmetic as well businesses should not place advertisements in schools uh uh well well this is good because uh the children they uh they believe what they see so schools should not allow advertisements of any products or anything else but if you want to learn business if you want to teach business to the students you can, you can they can watch ads and uh, for commercial purposes uh, businesses should not place advertisements in schools or near schools or in front of schools it is unethical to eat meat i don't think so because you need need to eat meat and uh, it's a great food source for humans what is the harm in eating meat uh, because this is nature we we maintain the food chain as well so you definitely i don't find any harm in eating meat but we have to set a limitation of eating meat uh well every day in every meal we don't eat meat yeah okay it should be balanced like definitely there should food. be balanced if you eat only meat that's bad you need to eat yeah that's bad vegetables you need to eat fish you need to eat uh other things as well right yeah in the case of student lockers school safety is more important than student privacy of course i believe that school safety is more important than student yeah. privacy uh, up to a certain uh, age level students should not have privacy we should respect private things uh but in the name of privacy uh if we say okay the student uh, they have got say some some pills or some weapons some lethal tools so in the name of privacy if we allow them they can be dangerous so school safety is more important than privacy single sex schools are better for students than co-ed schools as i said earlier mm -hmm. single sex schools are better uh because they are they outperform the quid uh, schools mm -hmm. uh there are many reasons behind that because opposite sex sex has got have got attraction for each other to mix with uh, opposite attracts mm -hmm. so opposite attracts yeah <laughs> like magnets yeah the president of bangladesh should be elected by the direct vote of the people of course that should be better yeah uh directly we, can, we should not select a president mm -hmm. rather but it should we be can vote. vote yeah mm. Th that is really nice right okay. okay so we're done with these 50 debate topics oh it's a long right? time yeah thank you